So I bet you you've never seen a pedicle screw up close, only on x-ray. So here's what they look like. Here's the shank of the screw right here. And there's a round top where the head and the extension sleeve goes on. You see that? And it's polyaxial. That means it can roll around like this. That allows you to pass the rod and you don't have to put the screws in perfectly because humans are not perfectly designed symmetrically, especially when they have spine disease. So you need a flexibility so that it doesn't torque on the screw. And then you're probably wondering, once you get the screws in through those little poke holes, how do you connect them with the rod? Check this out. See that? So imagine you put in a screw like this, and then you kick it over to the next screw, and then you unscrew it right here, and disconnect the rod. See that? Pops off. And then while the rod is inside this rod sleeve, you drop a nut right down the middle, and it locks it down. And then I don't know if you can see this little line right there. You break off these little tabs and that's how you have a percutaneous pedicle screw all lined up, passing a rod without opening the incision. And some of them even have little holes on the sides so that if you're osteoporotic, after you put the screw in, you can inject cement down the middle and it'll come out the end in these little holes on the side and we'll reinforce it. So an awesome state-of-the-art minimal invasive pedicle screw. And for $1 million, you too could have one of these.